the Taxstar SGC 598 versus the newer model 698. Who wins? We're going to find out coming up next. Today we have a new special product, the Taskar SGC698. Now this is a newer model than the microphone I'm currently using. I am currently using down below here the Taskar598. It's a great mic, it's a great shotgun mic. But however, they came out with a newer model and also I have not seen a video yet on YouTube comparing these two microphones, which is gonna be interesting to do. This is the newer model and the differences could be some minimum, could be a lot. We're gonna go find out in this video, so stay tuned. Let's start with some differences. One of the main differences, this is a small profile microphone. It still has a shoe mount to sit on top of your camera, but it's lower profile, so it's smaller, it's more compact, which this would be good for vlogging later. Another few differences too is that this takes a small like watch battery, where this one takes a double A battery. The on off switch is a little different. Uh, it's a little more compact. Finally, it has three buttons on or off, zero to 10 decibel by boost, and low pass filter. The 698 just has an on off switch, which automatically goes to either normal or low pass filter. And then the other side is 20 plus decibel by, which is 10 more than the 598. Zero, which the 598 has, or also negative 10, the 598 does not have, but the 698 does. That might come in handy for very loud shots, such as next to an airplane, next to a motorcycle, next to someone mowing the lawn at six o'clock in the morning. Really, dude? However, I don't think I will often use the negative 10. I was really excited for the plus 20, which some of you may or may not know, but with Canons, they have a hissing noise because the gain sets so high in the camera. What these decibel by boosters allow you to do is to turn the volume down on the actual camera itself, thus lowering the, the volume of the hissing noise that you get naturally from the camera. So it helps take that out of the picture a little bit and give, still give you a good quality audio. It's a very good trick to know and to have when you're doing videos such like these or any kind of filming. The cable's a little different. It's braided and nice and fine. It's very nice to touch. The 598 has a little flexible one, which still isn't bad. Also, the mount on the 698 is different. It's kind of a more like a square rubbery piece in there which I don't suspect I'll get a lot, of, uh, a lot of movement, but a lot of noise back from it. The 598 itself has kind of like this twisty form to it, where it has this, this rod through it and these little rubber pieces here. You might be able to hear that. So we're gonna do some quick tests here to see how it sounds versus this one, just to get a good comparison, which I'm gonna let you, the viewers, decide which one you like better. If you stumble onto this video, that means you're looking for cheap alternative for microphones that will allow you to add to your videos, which will help you take it to the next level. When with these options, you're not forced to have to purchase road mics that are very expensive, and some of these might even be better than actual current road mics out there. One thing the 698 comes with that the 598 did not is a windscreen muff. This is a dead cat version of it. Uh, these are better for reducing wind noise. The 598 has a little foam cover, which it doesn't do that great of a job, which is why I purchased one like this off Amazon for the 598 as it goes over the whole microphone. <laughs> However, though, since it's a small microphone, smaller dead cat. <laughs> it looks like Cousin It from Haddis Family. <laughs> okay, Cousin It, you can stay in the family bedroom. <laughs> now for my sad attempt at ventriloquism. Here's what the windscreen looks like on the 698. Oh my god, I killed Cousin It. Now let's do a quick test between the two. Let's start with the 598. So we have the 598 here, and I took the foam cover off for the sake of purpose of making sure that both of them have a level playing field. As the 698 does not have a foam cover, so we're going to compare them as equals. Now is me doing a test. This is a sound test, sound test, sound test of my voice using the 598. And for these settings, low pass filter off. 10 decibel byte plus on. Now let's take a look at the 698. Here is the 698, and I'm trying to keep both microphones at a good distance between me. This is a sound test with the 698 on. The microphone is pointing straight at me. The settings are 20 plus decibel bytes enabled. I have the low pass filter off. Microphone's on, of course. And this is how I sound. Wow. Cool. What do you guys think? How do I sound? Do I sound clear? Do I sound better? Woo! 
feel like a rock star. <laughs> Copyrighted music! I'm curious to see, with the microphone this close, if I just turn on zero decibel bytes. Here's how it sound at zero decibel bytes. Let's go over the camera settings too, just really quick. The gain set to about the halfway with the attenuator on. The attenuator lowers the hissing noise, it suppresses a little bit more. Thus, I could turn up the gain a little bit more, allowing some more sound to come in, which still is, I find, the best solution to getting rid of that hissing noise. You shouldn't hear it too much in this video. It's not too bad. I'm going to move the mic away just a little bit because I noticed in, in post it was a little bit louder. So I want to get a true test out of this to verify that we have a legitimate test here. Now, this being a stereo shotgun mic, it's going to have left to right channels. So one thing we're going to test now is from going from one side of the microphone to the other side of the microphone. And we're going to see how that sounds for here. And then we're going to compare that to the 598. Ready? Here we go. I'm walking towards the microphone. I'm walking past the microphone. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, 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 yeah,
was the 598 microphone on the camera recording how the bike sounds. So that's the little two comparisons between the 698 and the 598. Tell me what you think. We'll see how it sounds. Uh, I will say though, I think that the, the 698 with the stereo mic would sound a little bit better. Um, it's got the left and right channels. It's more made to capture louder sounds like that. Uh, just like the 598 would probably be better for a studio microphone, just more of a directional shotgun mic, just geared towards whatever sound to come from this angle. Not from here or here, it doesn't really matter as long as it's just in a broad spectrum in the center. Oh man, I'm trying to think of a joke. Hey, cousin it. You should really switch to a different conditioner. <laughs>